All right, we're back. So as Ms. Peterson mentioned before, we are in now the third step of our scientific method. We are ready to actually conduct our experiment. And when I look here, I see some materials, Ms. Peterson. Yeah. I see some Ziploc bags and then, oh, I actually see two things that I use in my house every day, hand sanitizer and some hand soap. But I'm a little confused. I know we're doing an experiment about the spread of germs and soap and hand sanitizer and which one works best, but what's with the loaf of bread? That's a great question, Mrs. Body. Well, as we all know, bread tends to grow mold on it. Well, we're going to use this bread to show how mold can spread on bread. And hopefully, after we wash our hands with soap, and use some hand sanitizer and then touch the bread. Hopefully, if hand sanitizer and soap are as good as they tell us it is, it will prevent the mold from spreading on this bread. Does that make sense now? No spreading on the bread. Hopefully, we shall see. Okay, so it looks like we've got here four Ziploc bags. And in the first one, we've labeled that control. In our control bag, we just want to see what happens to this bread just on its own, without any soap or hand sanitizer. In, the in bag number two, labeled dirty, we are going to place a piece of bread after we have touched it with our dirty hands. In the third bag, we've labeled soap. Ms. Peterson will place a slice of bread in here after she has thoroughly washed her hands using our very popular hand soap. And in bag number four, we have labeled hand sanitizer, where Miss Peterson will again go and use hand sanitizer and place the piece of bread. Now that we talked about all the materials we needed or need for this experiment, we're gonna get going. So as Mrs. Body said, you need your control bag, and I'm going to open that now. And I'm going to take out a piece of bread without touching it with my hands because I don't want to touch it at all. So I'm just going to go in and grab, I'm using forceps, by the way, to grab it without using my hands. And I'm just simply going to place it in the Ziploc bag without touching it with my hands. And then I'm going to close it. I'm going to try and get the air out of there. Okay. So now that I have that done, I'm just going to put it right there. Now, I have not washed my hands since starting this video, so my hands are super dirty. I've touched the glue stick, the scissors, the notebook, everything. So now I'm just going to grab a piece of bread out, and I'm going to touch all over it with my dirty hands. Get all of those germs that I probably do have on my hand, and I am going to just touch the bread with my dirty hands. Now that I have touched that bread with my dirty hands, I'm going to place it in the bag labeled dirty. Hopefully my hands aren't that dirty, but who knows. And then we'll be right back because I'm going to go wash my hands with this soap now. I just came back and I washed. I only washed one of my hands because I want to use this other dirty hand with hand sanitizer to see. So. Now that this hand is clean, I'm actually going to ask this body to open up the Ziploc that says soap, and I'm going to grab out a piece of bread with my clean hand, and I'm just going to try to touch the bread with the hand that I washed, and then I'm going to slip it in the soap bag. She's going to close that up. Now. The last piece of bread we're going to do is I'm going to use hand sanitizer on the other hand. I'm going to use it as if I were using it normal, normally. And then I am going to then try and let that dry for a second. And we'll come back in one second once the hand sanitizer dries. But my hand that I use hand sanitizer on is all dry. I'm going to grab another piece of bread and I'm going to just touch the bread all over with the hand sanitizer. 
hand, not the hand sanitizer, the hand I use it on. And then I'm going to slide it in that bag. We're going to close it all up. Okay. So now we're ready. We have our experiment all set up. And from here on out, guys, we are just going to include some pictures of these four slices of bread to show the spread of germs and basically our, our mold starting to form, which is going to represent that spread of germs. Yes. And we're going to do this for about documented over the, like the next five days. So we'll see you back in five days. Bye guys.